Hello and welcome to your own channel. Let's talk business once again. I am Ravi and let's start talking business. So in my last presentation, I talked about these transaction services. In this presentation, I will try to give you a high level view about the services under the full digital adaptation. So we have total eight services under the full digital adaptation category and we will briefly talk about these services in the subsequent slides. So what are these eight services? First is Core Data Record or CDR, MRC version 3 which was previously called as a IMRC or Intelligent MRC. Third one is Digital Gateway. Fourth one is IPOS, fifth ICOS, DCOM, DDM and then Trading Platform. So we will briefly talk about it and I will try to give you an overview of these services. Let's talk about the CDR first. The central idea behind the CDR or core data record is to have a golden irrefutable digital risk record for open market policy. And this will help to trigger a lot of downstream automation processes by simplifying the premium and claim processing within the IPOS and ICOS system. CDR is currently defined for direct and facultative reinsurance business and it will be soon available for treaty business or delegate authority business. All right. So the central idea behind CDR is to have a golden record to automate downstream applications or processing. The second one is MRC or Market Reform Contract version 3, which was, as I said earlier, called as the IMRC in previous versions. In simple word, you can say the MRC is a policy or risk document having a policy and risk information in a very structured format. In FAL initiative or under the FAL initiative, the plan is to refine the IMRC or MRC so that it can become fully machine readable format so that the data can be extracted automatically as per the CDR standards. All right. The third service is called Digital Gateway and it's a very important functionality which is currently being developed by the DXC. In my word, I call this service as a gatekeeping services which will receive, validate, augment and store the CDR or core data record data and its associated documents. This service can be accessed by API which is currently being developed by the DXC and it is currently covering only direct and facultative RI business. All right. The ICOS and IPOS services, I can say these services are the heart of FAL initiative. These are the core digital services within the FAL or future at Lloyd's. I'm not saying that the other services are not important, but the real magic happen here within these two services. DXC is doing massive work in building these services from ground up. And these services will replace the legacy system like LIDs, POSH, class, which have been used in the market since 1980s. Now let's talk about the IPOS services and try to understand what exactly IPOS is. The IPOS stand for International Premium Orchestration Services. And this is the new platform to process premium for both open market and delegate authority business. These services will be accessed by API, Accord eBot messages, and will have its own portal to facilitate the early adoption. I will talk about the Accord eBot messages later in my subsequent presentation, but these are very important messages. The second is the ICOS or International Claim Orchestration Services, which is just like IPOS is helping to process the claim automatically within the London market. And these services are also designed to manage claims in open market and delegate authority business. And just like IPOS, ICOS services will be also accessed by APIs, ECOT, ECOT or electronic claim transaction messages. 
and will have its own portal to facilitate the early adoption. Now these two services DCOM and DDM, these services are related to the delegate authority business. Well, if you don't know about the delegate authority business, you can click the link above to know more about it. I have covered it in my previous video presentations. So DCOM stands for Digital Contract Oversight Manager and this system actually replaced the old bar system which is binding authority registration system. And the old bar system or DCOM system is currently being used, not the bar system, the DCOM is currently being used to actually manage the delegate authority business or contracts. You can click this information icon above again to more about the DCOM and DDM. So coming back to DDM or Delegate Data Manager is a boardroom management system which is helping to manage and process risk premium and claim boardroom within the delegate authority business. In FAL, the team is enhancing these two components specifically to make them more intuitive, reliable and interconnected to bring more efficiency within the delegate authority business. By the way, delegate authority business is like 30-40% of the overall Lloyd's business. So very important source of business. Now, finally, the trading platform. Trading platform are distribution platform providing submission, binding and distribution services to the market like PPL and white space. It's an important channel to construct and deliver CDR to the digital gateway for further processing. So PPL and Whitespace are the two major vendors right now and they are working very closely with the joint venture group to align their system according to the FAL initiative. I have recently published an update on PPL so you can pause this video presentation and have a look. Well that's all from today's video presentation. I hope you have gained some knowledge. Thank you and take very good care of yourself. Bye bye and take care.